museum was founded by John Woodman Higgins. He was a wealthy industrialist and he founded Worcester Press Steel, a sheet steel manufacturing company. And he was fascinated with anything made out of steel, especially beautiful handmade objects. And of course he was fascinated with the medieval arms and armor, particularly the sheet steel armor, the plate armor of that era. And so he started collecting it. And he started collecting more and more and more. And so he decided to build a museum to house his collection. And so he built this building, he designed this building, and built this building next to his factory, the Worcester Press Steel business, and opened it up to be both the museum and the headquarters for his business. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Economou from Remax Advantage One. On today's show, we're gonna show you some great new listings, and like we embarked earlier this year, we're gonna show you as many places around the city of Worcester as we can to show you what Worcester really has to offer. Today we're at Higgins Armory Museum, right here in the north end of the city. Higgins Armory has the largest collection in the United States. In a moment, we'll go inside, we'll talk to Jeffrey and Bill, and they'll show us some of the collection here at Higgins Armory Museum. I'm here with Jeffrey Forgang. He's the museum curator. Jeffrey, give us a little detail on what's going on behind us here. Well, the Higgins Armory is most famous for its European armor from the Age of the Knights, but we're not just about that. Our collections go all the way back to ancient Greece and Egypt, uh, and all around the world as well. So behind us you can see some examples of the uh, arms and armor of the samurai of Japan, or a full armor of a, an African warrior. Uh, so we have a tremendous new installation, I'm very proud of that, uh, to show some of the diversity and a variety of arms and armor from everywhere around the globe. It's really amazing to see the transgression of time with the pieces that are involved here. Um, as you said here, some of the samurai collection, th things that kids and people would see on some of today's most recent movies, correct? Exactly. The, the, the artifacts you see on display are things that you'll see on the TV and in films and so on. They're all a part of our popular culture. And we encourage people not just to, to look at objects passively and to kind of see them behind the glass. We offer opportunities to really get up close and personal so a kid can take a shield making workshop, design their own, their own coat of arms like a knight sure. of the Middle Ages. And if you're a little bit older, you can actually take a course in sword play. Play. This is a, a practice sword that we use in the courses that we teach here. It's uh, the kind of sword that knights used in order to learn how to fight on the battlefield, and you can rediscover these lost martial arts of the Middle Ages here at the museum today. I'm here with Bill Short the research fellow here at Higgins Armory. So Bill's going to give us a little bit of history of some of the pieces here at the Great Hall. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to welcome you here. Thank uh, you, Bill. The Great Hall. This is the core of the Higgins collection. And it's actually divided into two wings. On this end of the uh, Great Hall, the combat wing. And this wing gives you a history of the armor that's used in combat. What you're seeing behind you is a recreation of a joust, sport. And so these people are uh, riding at each other for sport with the goal of dismounting the opponent. The armor needs to protect them from damage. So if you look carefully at the armor, you see that it's much thicker, much heavier. For example, the helmet is actually bolted to the breastplate so the neck can't snap if the person is dismounted. Beside me is Devin Kurtz, the Educational Director, who will give us a few words on the upcoming opening of the Castle Quest Gallery. Devin? Well, it's great to have you here today, and welcome to the threshold of our new learning space. In just a few short weeks, this entire huge room will be transformed into a medieval castle, an armory, a stable, and a courtyard with jousting taking place. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the tour here today at Higgins Armory Museum. Another true gem here in the city of Worcester. I'm going to bring to you, for the remainder of the year, these little bits 
bits of the city so you can really get a flavor of what Worcester is all about. My name's Tony Economou. I'm with Remax Advantage One right here in Worcester. You can reach me at 508-459-5540 or visit me on the web at tonyeconomou.com. Thanks and enjoy the listings you're about to see.